What's happening inside your body? Have you ever wondered how little we know about our bodies? The human body is an amazing and unique machine that triggers thousands of processes every second. And we're not aware of a single one. Today, we're about to look at all the processes that are going on in the very depths of man. You may say, which man? Well, what about that one? We can see he is in bed, some ordinary person, just like you or me. It's 8 a.m., and I guess he is going to wake up soon, so it's better we hurry. What is the easiest way to get in? The nose, of course. Wow, it's really dark in here. And we see a vast forest around. As you can guess, it's nose hair. This hair catches all the dirt, viruses, and toxins until he blows them or sneezes them out. An interesting fact. People who live in cities have more hair in their noses than those who live in the countryside, and it's thicker and stiffer. It's a vital air filter for the human body, so we have to try really hard to break through them. Hurry up! We don't want to be sneezed out! Jump! And whee! We're falling down the nasopharynx! Wait a second! What's that strange sound? Can you hear it? It's coming from somewhere near the mouth. We better stop there and check this out. Aha! Uh -huh. He's just gnashing his teeth. 8-30% to of people around the world gnash their teeth while sleeping. It's called bruxism. Compressing the jawbones is an evolutionary instinct of Homo sapiens, who use their teeth as a weapon against predators. These days, people clench their teeth while sleeping as a reaction to negative emotions, such as fear, anger, or disappointment. Well, I hope this guy isn't depressed or something. And don't worry about those tiny things you see. They're just bacteria. There are about 40,000 bacteria in the human mouth, and most of them aren't harmful. Also, saliva always cleans the oral cavity and protects teeth from damage. Yep, it's that liquid stuff around. It's funny, an average person creates so much saliva during their life that it can fill two swimming pools. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would look like. Oh. His breathing changed and became faster, and the gnashing has also just stopped. I think he's waking up. Let's head back to the nasopharynx. The air passing through the nose becomes cleaner and warmer here. Then it goes through the larynx to the trachea. As you can see, the trachea is a tube that consists of cartilaginous rings. Towards the end, it branches into the bronchi, through which the air reaches the right and left lungs. You can see each of the bronchus branches into thin tubes with pulmonary vesicles at the end. That's where the blood gets oxygen and gives off carbon dioxide. By the way, an adult person performs around 23,000 inhalations and exhalations a day. <laughs> Impressive, huh? Oops, it seems we've been detected. He's going to sneeze! See how the lungs just filled up with air? When sneezing, the speed of airflow reaches 60 miles per hour. So we better get out of here before we fly out like a rocket from his mouth. Let's jump into the capillaries and give the circulatory system a little visit. The circulatory system is a long labyrinth entwining the entire human body. The total length of all the blood vessels is about 62,000 miles, or 100,000 kilometers. This is twice as long as the length of the equator. Can you imagine? The blood filled with oxygen is heading to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein. Then, the heart pumps it to the other parts of the body to provide oxygen to the muscles. Did you know that our heart pumps around 182 million liters of blood during our lifetime? It pumps blood at such pressure that it could raise blood up to the fourth floor of a building. And it is very small, just about the size of your fist. Oh, his heart started beating much faster. What happened? Let's go a bit higher and see what he's doing. Hmm… I can see the bathroom, his kitchen, the bathroom again. Seems like he's in a hurry. He's running around his apartment like a rabbit. You might be thinking, why is everything upside down? Well, according to physics, the collective lens reverses the image of the object. The cornea and lens are pretty much collective lenses, so they invert the image when it reaches the retina of the eye. After that, the image is transmitted to the brain along the nerves, and the brain flips it back to how it really is. By the way, the only part of the body that has no blood supply is the cornea of the eye. Yeah, that one. It receives oxygen directly from the air. 
Wait a second. Something is ringing around. His phone, I guess. Where is it? Ah, it's his boss calling. You believe that you are special. His eyes are expanding now, and pupils are dilating. It seems he's nervous and scared. Also, the more the brain works, the larger the pupils become. He's probably trying hard to come up with something to tell his boss. Let's hurry to the ears. I want to hear what is going to happen. Uh Uh-oh! It seems his boss has gone wild. Well, it's already 9 a.m., and this guy is still at home. You can hear how loud the boss is screaming and see how the eardrum is vibrating. The ear is a unique human device. There isn't any other mechanism that responds to the smallest changes in air pressure with such striking accuracy. It transforms the vibrational motion of the sound wave into a certain sensation, which our brain perceives as sound. Speaking about the brain, let's pay it a visit as well. 100,000 chemical reactions occur in our brain every single second. Every second! It's simply amazing, isn't it? As we can see, Wernicke's area and Broca's area are active right now. Both of them are located in the left hemisphere of the brain and participate in the speech function. Wernicke's area is responsible for understanding speech, and Broca's area is responsible for reproducing speech. Also, it controls the muscles of the face, tongue, and throat. I guess the guy is explaining why he is late to his boss. Wait a second, something else is happening. Why is he shaking? Oh man, no! He's choking! Didn't he learn that he's not supposed to eat while talking? Let's get to the nasopharynx quickly. Maybe we can help him in some way. When a person swallows, the larynx usually closes in order to prevent food from getting into the respiratory tract. But while talking, the larynx might remain open. Oh my! Judging by the smell, it's a piece of fried eggs with bacon. He's coughing now. Don't worry, man, you can do it! Coughing is just a natural attempt by the body to remove anything stuck in the respiratory tract. He must cough harder now. Great! There you go! That annoying piece flew out. So, alas, we can't see the digestion process today. No worries, we'll come back another day and show it to you in another video. So, our friend is hurrying to work. Let's leave him alone and come back here another time. Lots of amazing processes going on in the human body are still uncovered. How do our cells form and get replaced with others? How many enzymes are active in the body? How many bacteria do live inside of us, and why? We'll answer all of them soon. Thank you for joining me on this adventure around the human. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe. New discoveries are waiting for you.